So the second type of reset is the one you do while you're parked. Um, if you're on the phone with Tesla, they will ask you to step on the brake while you're doing this, which stepping on the brake doesn't change anything in regards to the reset. It uh, just is a safety measure. So they just ask you to step on the brake to just make sure that the car doesn't do anything, even though the car is not going to do anything anyway. But Tesla being such a company that's all about safety, they will ask you to step on the brake pedal. If you do or don't, it does not make any difference. Because the reset is exactly the same as the one while driving. We'll go to our two scroll wheels. We press and hold. And same thing will be happening again screen goes dark and then we gotta wait until the tesla t comes back on and as i said while driving already you gotta hold until then to make sure all modules do actually reset so there's several different modules or many different modules in this car it's not just like a main computer reset um, it will reset individual modules and that takes time. Here we go, it's Tesla T. So we can let go of the scroll wheels and we'll wait for it to power up. While doing this, while you're parked, you don't want to be charging, okay? Uh, I was instructed before by a Tesla employee uh, on the phone to do this. And I mentioned that I was supercharging currently and the guy said, yeah, this is no problem. Um, you can be charging, it doesn't affect it. Well, it didn't work. It did the reset, but it did actually not do a proper reset because we were supercharging at the time. So you gotta be unplugged from any charger whatsoever. So then once you've done this, you press your little car icon on the bottom left and we go into the menu and then under safety and security there is the power off so what you do is you press the power off there's your warning are you sure you want to turn power off place foot on brake to turn power back on. So we take our foot off the brake at this point. Don't touch anything, don't open any doors, don't do nothing. Press power off. And Tesla says do a three minute power off, okay? So basically you'll be sitting in your car for three minutes with the power off and well, you just gotta wait three minutes okay so today I'm not gonna wait the three minutes but you certainly want to do wait three minutes um, to do that uh, usually the idea with electronics with a power off is kind of like well you do a power off on your laptop tablet phone or something you do a restart on your uh, electronic components that's basically what the power off is um, it will help to pot potentially discharge any capacitors, uh, discharge static electricity, whatever is there. It will give it some time um, to do all this. So, like I said, we're not going to wait three minutes. Um, but in your case, you will have to wait at least three minutes. Um, sometimes people were even told four minutes. Um, I've never heard of that. I was always told by Tesla to do a three minute power down. And once the three minutes is over, just like the screen said, you step on your brake pedal and it will power right up. So doing these two things, doing your scroll wheels as well as the power down will help to eliminate even more issues that could be there that didn't reset with just the scroll wheel uh, reset by itself. So if you do a, a scroll wheel re reset while driving, your issue doesn't become eliminated. Uh, quite frequently issues that lock fault codes uh, with navigation on autopilot or similar things like that, they don't necessarily reset while driving with your scroll wheel, scroll wheel reset only. 
So this can then potentially help while you're parked and reset those issues. All right, this concludes part two of our uh, how to reset a Model 3 series. We will have part three coming that will be a full shutdown of the car, disconnecting all power, which will be easy to do. So uh, uh, look out for it. We'll bring that out in the next couple weeks. Um, please like this video. Please subscribe to our channel. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss the next video on this level 3 reset on how to power down this car completely. Also this, what you're seeing right now is a little teaser about a video we'll be bringing out traveling to Yellowstone National Park in late fall. Um, we'll show you how to travel in Montana and surrounding areas in winter conditions uh, you'll be able to see how to find chargers and we'll show you that it is real easy to do with an electric vehicle to travel in areas without superchargers so i hope you enjoyed please like and subscribe and we'll see you next time